वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर मुसद्दीक गोहिर टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ टेंसर प्रोडक्ट्स इन क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग टेंसर प्रोडक्ट इज अ वेल नोन टर्म इन मेनी फील्ड्स ऑफ साइंस इट आल्सो यूजेस इन मैथमेटिक्स एंड इन पार्टिकल फिजिक्स इन क्वांटम फील्ड थ्यूरी एज वेल एज इन क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग सो as we know that in quantum information or in quantum mechanics we always talk about the multi particle systems because the concept of isolated systems is not uh, uh, so much studied so let's suppose we have two particles the n1 particle belongs to hilbert space h1 and n2 particles having hilbert space h2 okay the composite hilbert space of two particles is written as h1 and this sign in the in between h1 and h2 is known as the tensor product the tensor product is the mathematical tool to construct the composite hilbert space between the two oh, sub hilbert spaces which belongs to two different particles so this sign is used for tensor product it is also known as the kronecker product okay the composite hilbert space h will be written like that so the dimensions of the composite hilbert space will simply be the multiplication of the dimensions of n1 and n2 so the particle dimensions will be multiplied and the dimensions total dimensions of the composite hilbert space will be uh, known okay, now there are some certain properties of the tensor products which i will discuss one by one first of all let we have two state vectors phi belongs to hilbert space h1 and chi belongs to hilbert space h2 then their tensor product is written like as where alpha is a scalar you can switch the position of alpha it can be written with chi or either phi it does not affect the result as it is a scalar so you can switch its position the second property is that the order of the state vectors is not important and the result will remain same state vector phi tensored state vector chi is equal to state vector chi tensored state vector phi so order of the state vectors is not important it will not alter the result and the next property is that let's suppose you have a state psi1 which is equal to tensor product of phi1 and chi1 and another state psi2 which is the tensor product of phi2 and chi2 then the inner product of these two states can be calculated like that here phi1 will be written with phi2 so that result will appear whereas the second a uh, state vector chi1 will be written with chi2 and result will be written like that so from here you can see that as inner product is always a number so when you take the inner product of two states then it will produce the inner product of their respective state vectors and it will also give a number the next uh, property belongs to the matrices algebra let state vector is a column matrix as here shown phi is equal to column matrix ab and chi is equal to column matrix cd then their tensor product will be written like that now here is an interesting thing first of all you will take the tensor product of a with both elements of the matrix c and d so you will write, write it as ac ad and third and fourth elements will give the tensor product of b with c and then b with d so you will get a column matrix of four elements okay the next property is that if you are dealing with operators a and b then their 
tensor product can be written as the operator A tensored B and the state vector phi tensored chi then A will be multiplied with phi tensored B with chi. So you will apply first operator to first state vector and second operator to second state vector. And one thing is important to note that in tensor product it is very general notation as I have shown here phi tensor chi you can write them both like that with replacing the sign and they can also be written in a single cat phi into chi. There are certain properties, certain other properties if A and B operators are Hermitian then their tensor product is also Hermitian. And if A and B are projection operators then A tensor B is also a projection operator. If A and B are unitary then their tensor product is also unitary. Okay, if A and B are positive then their tensor product is also positive. So this was little introduction about the tensor product in quantum computing. I hope so you find it interesting and you will be able to find tensor products and you can solve certain examples. I will give you a little assignment about that. Calculate the tensor product between the polymatrix X and polymatrix Z. I have a hint for you that as you know that polymatrices are of order 2 by 2 when you will take their tensor product then the resulting matrix will have uh, order of 4 by 4. So two dimensional Hilbert space will be converted into four dimensional Hilbert space. Enough for today. I hope so you have liked my lecture. So I will be back with new video. If you like my video uh, subscribe to my channel and like and share my video. Thanks. Enough for today. I will be back with new video. Allah Hafiz.